are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, congratulations, women. The gold medal winner is now a man. I predicted this. We all knew that um, Emain Khalif was actually going to win gold in women's boxing. Not a surprise whatsoever. Women did not stand a shot against this man. I mean, every match that um, Emain Khalif fought wasn't even close. And this time, it wasn't even close either, guys. The gold medal in women's boxing went to a man. How do you guys feel about this, women? I'm talking talking to the women on this. How do you actually feel about this? That a man is now wearing gold. It's been proven by the science. We've all been told to follow the science, right? Remember that in 2020? Follow the science. Well, we followed the science and we found out that Iman Khalif is a man who has invaded your sport. This person was actually banned by the IBA because he was a man. Along with um, Lin Yu Ting. And Lin Yu Ting actually fights tomorrow. Oh, make no mistake about it, guys. Lin Yu Ting is going to win. This is absolutely disgusting, guys. Disgusting. Let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You guys can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on locals, both for just five dollars per month. We appreciate these supports. So here we go. Right here, guys. Controversial boxer Emain Khalif wins women's Welterweight gold medal defeats China's Lang Luo. Yeah. So a woman loses yet again. Not surprising. You women need to wake up, man. You guys need to wake up. Controversial Algerian boxer Iman Khalif is now an Olympic gold medalist after defeating China's Yang Luo. In the women's welterweight final at the Paris Games on Friday. Now check this out. Khalif won the bout by unanimous decision 5-0. 5-0. Which means, folks, this match was not even close. It wasn't even competitive, guys. When you're a male, you have a physical advantage. It's just that simple. The gold medal fight was the accumulation of Khalif's nine-day dominant run through the Olympic tournament that began with Khalif's first opponent, Italy's Angela Carini, dropping out after just 46 seconds. Carini said uh, she was too much in too much pain from Khalif's punches. Yeah, two punches and that was it. She dropped out. This is a disgusting side right here, guys. So that is um, Iman Khalif on the left. Taller and bigger than the female opponent. No surprise. The referee right there raising up his hand. And Khalif is actually saluting. What a disgusting sight to see. Unbelievable. Khalif, along with Taiwan's Ling Yu Ting, who will compete in the women's um, featherweight final on Saturday, were removed from the women's uh, world boxing championship in March 2023. Why? Because they found out they were men. They found out they were men. Now, the IBA actually stood up for women and said, you guys can't fight. We got the proof. We got the chromosomes. I just dropped a video about an hour ago talking about how the IBA president, Thomas Bach, really said, I don't really see any science to actually suggest that these are actually men. Even though they are. And I remember this site right here, guys, this image right here. 
I believe this was in the last fight before um, fighting for the gold. Iman Khalif with an arrogant smile on his face after beating up on women. Yeah. This is crazy, man. Over here, man, we got images now. Algeria FC. This is um actually um Algerian football. Okay. They put up this image right here with Iman Khalif saluting with a gold medal over him. Wow. Says Algerian women continue to make us proud. Hashtag Olympics. Hashtag Paris 2024. Congratulations. Wow. This is insane, man. Another post right here. Iman Khalif is an Olympic gold medalist. Beyond proud. Against all odds and through the storms of adversity. Iman Khalif has risen to the pinnacle of the Paris Olympics 2024 claiming gold. His journey is a testament to the indomitable spirit of resilience and courage. Wow. Same picture, really, but um, without the uh, gold medal superimposed on him. I mean, this is um, crazy. This next post uh, says, I got blocked by Piers Morgan a few days ago after I called him um, out for misgendering Emane Khalif. Tonight, I dedicate that Medal of Honor for the true hero, the woman who fought against the world and won the generational inspiration, the Olympic gold medalist. Well, this ain't a woman. This is a man. This is a man. And in 2024, man, I guess, you know, a man can actually be a woman, no matter if the science actually says that he's a man. This is crazy. We got some images here. That is um, a main Khalif right there. About to get his fist raised up. That is a main Khalif right there. I'm assuming after um, being declared the winner, still in the gold medal. Yes, the gold medal was stolen, guys, by a man. Disgusting, man. But I did predict this. I did predict this. I told you that both men would actually win a gold medal. And I'm going to be proven to be right, man. Don't want to be right. But when it comes to combat sports. A woman just ain't beating a man. It's not going to happen. So tomorrow, Lin Yu Ting is going to be on deck. Lin Yu Ting is going to win. Lin Yu Ting has not lost a round. Why? Because he's a man fighting against women. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.